Hello, I'm Michael Diamond, and you're watching Muscle Central. Okay, with the Olympic trials going on, it's got me thinking again about bodybuilding and the Olympics. Now, for years, Ben Weeder envisioned and he wanted to see bodybuilding in the Olympics. Now, we all know that the Olympics is drug tested and it doesn't take a rocket scientist to look at uh, an IFBB bodybuilder, modern bodybuilders, to realize that they are using steroids. So uh, it conflicts with the Olympic rules. They're, we found uh, using, test positive. Uh, if you win anything, you're stripped, you're thrown out. You're, uh, I'm not sure how long you're suspended for, not, not allowed to compete for, but it's not allowed and they're tested. Now, does that mean that They're drug-free, the Olympics. Uh, I'm sure there are competitors and probably a lot of competitors in various sporting events that are drug-free. Now, I would think it's pretty safe to assume most, if not all, of the ones that are at the very top, the medal winners, are using. Yes, I know I just said that it's drug tested, but being drug tested does not mean they are drug free. The Truth of the matter is, there are many ways to get over a drug test, many ways to pass drug tests. Uh, some uh, substances, say fast-acting uh, testosterone, is in and out of the system very quickly. Uh, you don't have to, within a, within a couple of days, it's going to be cleared out of your system and your, uh, levels, you're going to measure, you're going to test good. Uh, and some, and a lot of other compounds, if you stop number of weeks before you have to test, give it sufficient time to clear the system, you're going to get by. Does that mean that just because you stopped to say two weeks prior, does that mean you're going to lose the benefits of its usage? Absolutely not. So, like I said, it'd be safe to say that most, if not all, of the top placing competitors in the various events are using some sort of enhancement. You have uh, sponsorship, financial backing. It's very easy to, they can also p pay someone who has the knowledge to do it, where they can tweak certain compounds that are being used, which would make it undetectable. The long short is that there are many ways to beat the test, and it's pretty, 
I can pretty much assure you that even in the Olympics, where it's drug tested, the use of, a, of performance enhancers is widespread. Now let's get back to the bodybuilding aspect about it. Like I said, it does take a rocket scientist to see that the bodybuilders are enhanced. Uh, in their case, they're trying to get as big as they can and as ripped as they can. And it's the look that's the telltale giveaway. Now, in these other endeavors, uh, the, the usage might enhance their physique, but that's not the ultimate goal for them. It's enhancing the skill they have for the particular sport they're participating in. It's to make them faster and stronger, which will make them better athletes. Where I'm getting to getting at with this, uh, it might be nice to see the bodybuilding get into the Olympics. Uh, should they even waste their time uh, drug testing in, in the Olympics? They're not going to stop. Obviously, they're not going to stop. They're going to keep on doing it. But the truth of the matter is it's a waste of time because these athletes are finding ways to get around these tests. They're using and they're beating the test. Let's not worry too much about who's using and who's not using. It's not going to make it's not going to give you, if you're using, it's not going to give you a skill. You have to have the skills to begin with. It's just going to enhance whatever skills you have. So the ones who are more genetically gifted, you're both, uh, you're both using the one who's more genetically gifted is going to have the advantage. But other than that, they're on a level playing field. Uh, I don't know. That's about it for this video. I uh, I think I ranted off a little bit, went a little a little off topic at uh, a couple of times, but uh, I think you get where I'm going with this. If you agree or disagree with what I've said, please let me know. In the comment section, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please share and by all means subscribe. Do not forget to hit that notification bell. This way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. Also, if you go to the description box, you'll find some links there. One is to the Muscle Central Facebook page. Any questions for me, you can go there, DM me. I'd be happy to answer your questions. You'll find a link to Species Nutrition, the best nutritional supplements on the market, and Mr. Pot's Protein, the best protein pack snacks on the market. Click on both links, go to both websites, and check out all their great products. Once again, this is Michael Diamond, and I'd like to thank you for watching Muscle Central.